Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central. We're coming to you with another Lightboard lesson video. And today we're going to talk about a uh, feature in the TLS, uh, the TLS extension, TLS handshake, TLS world. It's called server name indication, SNI. And uh, to give you a little bit of background on this, I'll, uh, I'll draw like a little picture up here. Let's say you have, uh, of course, you have a big IP right here. So you got your big IP and you have a single virtual server on it and you want to host more than one secure website on that single virtual server. And you may ask, you know, hey, why do, why do you want to host more than one site on a single virtual server? Well, back in the day, um, or maybe not back in the day, maybe even today, uh, maybe you've got some IP address limitations where you don't just have an unlimited supply of IP addresses. And so you want to be able to, uh, to share, to host one with one IP address, host multi multiple, uh, you know, secure websites. So let's say, you know, out here to the world, you've got a, a client that might connect into this uh, and he's going to come to IP address, you know, 1.2.3.4 and, and you want that one IP address to ultimately come down here and maybe, uh, maybe ultimately come to say, you know, site, site one and then you got site two over here and then over here you got site three and using that one IP address, you are gonna, you're gonna direct your clients down to one of these, say three in this case, but certainly more than one um, secure website. Um, but you've only got one single virtual server that's gonna do all this. And so the question is, how do you do all that? How is that even possible? Because by the way, site number one has its own certificate. So I'll put cert one, and then the same here with um, site two and site three, they all have their own certificates. And, and you know, as you know, with, uh, with, with TLS and the way that the encryption and all that kind of stuff happens, whenever a client comes in to request you know, a, a secure website, then a certificate exchange happens there, key exchange happens there, and then that's what allows all that encryption to happen correctly. And so if the wrong certificate is served up, then depending on the client, it may just completely eliminate or, or you know, kill the connection because it thinks there may be some kind of man in the middle attack or something like that going on. All right, so what happens here is you've got these different websites that are all hosted on the same virtual server that is uh, pointing out with one IP address to the world. And so again, the question is, how do you do that? So in a, in a normal TLS handshake, so I'll put uh, TLS handshake here, you've got a client that is going to send uh, a hello message, a client hello message to the server and in this case, it's our big IP. And then the server then is going to send a server hello. So we'll uh, say server hello. But then it's also going to send the certificate. And so the question is, again, if I'm a client coming in and I need to go, let's say I need to go to site number two, and I'm sending the hello message to the big IP, then the question is, the big IP, if it's got three different certs on that one IP address, on that one virtual server, how does it know which of the three certificates to send? And the answer is, it had no idea prior to this server name indication. So let's go, let's talk a little bit more about that. Server name indication, what that allows you to do, it's an extension of the TLS handshake at where in the client hello message, it allows the client to say, hey server, client hello, but here's the actual certificate that I'm looking for. So in this case, to simplify things, we'll say hello, and then maybe we'll say, um, you know, a, I'll, I'll just put site two right here. And so um, that's not the exact nomenclature and all that, but you get the idea that it's like, hey, when I send a, a client hello message to uh, the server, then I'm going to actually specify the certificate that I need. And so that way, uh, if, if there were no certificate specified, then the server is just gonna send the default certificate that it has. But if you have multiple sites, multiple certificates being hosted by that one virtual server, and the default one gets sent, then the chances are it's probably going to be the wrong one, uh, depending on which sites you need to go to. And then that's when you get into some certificate error messages on your browser and all that kind of crazy stuff. So if, it's, if, if the client can say, hello, and I need this site's certificate, then when the big IP sends the certificate, it's going to send cert number two back to the client. And then that way the handshake happens and everybody's happy. And so that's what SNI is, server name indication. So it's going to indicate 
uh, to the server the name of the site that it wants. The client's going to indicate that name to the server and it's going to get the correct certificate. So how do you configure all that on the big IP? Um, you set up an SSL profile. So I'll just put that right here. I'll put SSL profile. And it, starting in version 11.1, um, this is just part of the product. You, uh, you go into an SSL profile, and then you can see SNI listed there. And then you just type in uh, the domain name. I'll just put, uh, I'll put domain name here. Domain name. You type in the domain name of, of the uh, different sites that you want you know, to be served up via SNI, and then uh, and, you, and, and it's productized. Uh, you, you, just, uh, you just put it in. Um, so prior to version 11.1, you can do this in an iRule, and so we'll, uh, we'll uh, link to all the iRule stuff and, and some, some more uh, in-depth ways to set this up in the big IP as well. And so, um, so now, again, you can host more than one um, site with all these different certificates on the, uh, on the same virtual server, and you can just say, hey, one IP address out to the world allows you to do this. One other thing that I'll mention is in order for all this to work, the client itself has to be SNI compatible, capable. And so because, again, remember the client is the one that has to send the, the client hello message with the SNI uh, extension in that client hello message. And so you may ask yourself, well, hey, am I using a client, whether it's Chrome or Internet Explorer or Safari or, you know, Firefox or whatever it is. Um, the good news is, is that any modern browser, whether it's mobile or desktop or any of that stuff, they all are SNI compatible today. So if you're using a way old version of a really old uh, browser, then, uh, then maybe it's not. Uh, we'll put some links on this video actually to show you which ones are compatible. But by and large, if you're using any kind of, a, of an up-to-date browser today, then your browser is SNI capable. And, uh, and in that way, if you're the, if you're the you know, website administrator or whatever, over here the web server administrator, then you don't have to worry as much about uh, client compatibility. So anyway, so hopefully you've learned a couple of things about what SNI is, the, the background behind why you need it. And, uh, and how you can set it up uh, on your profile in the Big IP. So, uh, so thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.